Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be sharing with you my Generation Beauty um, experience. I've never been to Generation Beauty in the past, so I was very excited to go this year. I purchased my tickets a few months back and I was so, so, like I said, so excited to go. Um, I got there pretty early on Saturday and um, I think it was like around 8 in the morning and believe it or not, there were already people lined up at 8 o'clock, even though registration was at 9, and the event didn't start until about 11. So at 9 o'clock, they started letting us go up the stairs to register, and you get your little badge. It comes with, like, this cute little marker that says Generation Beauty. It's a Sharpie. Your lanyard, because you're going to hang this around your neck so that they know that you're there for the event. And um, inside, there's this little paper that comes with these little tickets and this is pretty much full these are all the places that I didn't get a chance to go to um, unfortunately I did not get to go to Too Faced Too Faced was giving away um, a full size palette one of the chocolate bonbons or um, what are the other ones the chocolate bar and the semi-sweet chocolate bar whatever it's called um unfortunately i did not get one of those the line was always super long for that place so i guess that should have been my first stop but it wasn't so i i didn't get anything from there <laughs> unfortunately um all right so um saturday you get a goodie bag sunday you go back and sunday guys was crazy the weather was crazy that day and there seemed to be tons of people at the event how in the world were there like more people in line i have no idea but i'm sure it was the same amount of people it just looked crazy outside because the parking lot was like super big and the line just kept wrapping around super crazy generation beauty was such a fun experience for me you do pay for your ticket and you get two goodie bags you get one on saturday and one on sunday and it was so much fun so if you want to see what i got now um i'm going to show you so you have an idea of the things that you are like getting at generation beauty i did not get anything special here this is pretty much everything i picked up either in the goodie bags or that the um, brands were passing out inside as long as you gave them their like the ticket that came in this in this little paper so the way it works is you go to the brand give them your ticket and then they give you something in return so hey that's pretty cool you know you buy you buy your ticket to go into the event and then you get to meet different people and everything and you get to get some so-called freebies from the merchants or the vendors or brands or whatever you want to call them so yeah um i guess i say freebies mainly because you do pay for your ticket however the amount you pay for your ticket is a lot less than what you actually receive or what I received in return because I received a lot, a lot of products that, um, you know, that would be way over what I paid for my ticket. So let's get started. I had previously recorded this, so this is going to be a mess because my camera was out of focus and it was just not not working out for me in the bag i got this laneige or laneige is the brand i'm not sure but it's a bb cushion and i got mine in the color light unfortunately i am not light obviously i'm pretty tan so um that's not gonna work out for me um i got this crown brush um small little travel size brushes and they're really cute in my goodie bag, there was also a Pure Minerals eye pencil in the color Chocolate Mika. Mika? And this is a chocolate brown color. And on the other side, there's a little smudgy guy. There was a their real mascara in there. And I don't know about you guys, but I've never tried this mascara. So I'm pretty excited to try that out. Another thing that was in the goodie bag, and there's a lot of stuff, guys. So this is like nothing is this Too Faced little blush. Now this is super tiny, it's so cute. The color is really nice. Um, that's the color right there. Thing is this Milani Red My Lips 
lip gloss. This is by Makeup Forever, and it's a it's the Aqua Eyes waterproof eyeliner, and this to me just looks like it's a black eyeliner. So, moving on, this Laneige water sleeping mask, and this is it right here. Came in a cute little box. Um, this Wee Finishing Cream. Now, I'm not sure if this is one of the items that I was handed, like, by the brands, or if this actually came in my bag. It also came with this Clear Dry Shampoo by Marc Anthony. Another thing that came in there was this Healing and Vitamin E Shampoo. Now, it's a pretty good size sample. As you can see, it's pretty big. I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara was in the goodie bag. I think that was in the second date goodie bag. Um, this NYX, <laughs> I almost dropped that. NYX Butter Gloss in the color Eclair, which I don't own. I don't believe I own this, so yes, this is what I got. And then this, um, Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. So this is what it looks like. It's really small. Now I remember getting something like this in my Ipsy bag before and I never used it. So I don't know if I am going to use this or not, but we shall see. Um, this is the Pixie Shea Butter Lip Cream. That's what it looks like. Now I believe this I picked up from Mark Anthony, like my little ticket. So this is the Marc Anthony Second Day Clear Dry Shampoo. Now this is like, I believe these are kind of like the same. So another thing I picked up from Marc Anthony with that same ticket, they gave out a lot of stuff with that ticket, but it's this Marc Anthony Dream Waves Beach Spray. From Marc Anthony as well. This is the Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco Deep Hydrating Conditioning Treatment. And this is what it looks like. City Colors put this highlighting wand in the color Moscato in there. Now this is, I believe it's, um, this is a liquid highlighter is what it is. So I'm interested in like seeing what the formula is like. And another thing that came in the goodie bag is this Numi Hair Chalk. Now this is orange. Guys, I'm not going to use this. This is the Derma E Purifying Daily Detox Scrub with um, Marine Algae. An activated charcoal. It's an exfoliate. Exfoliates away pollutants and impurities gentle enough for daily use. So I'll probably be using this and see if I like it. This is from Pure Lease. And I don't know if this came in the bag or if I got this from the brand, but I think it came in the bag. And this is the BB Cream Tinted Moisture Cream. Um, and it says for all skin types, even sensitive, but I don't see a color. Hmm. Another thing that came in the goodie bag is this Lexi Beauty um, tapered blending brush, which is pretty nice. It's really soft, and I actually picked up a brush from Lexi that I paid for with my own money because I thought their brushes were pretty nice, and my sister-in-law did say that they have good brushes, so I figured, why not? I'm there, there, there. Might as well pick something up, right? This is from Pacifica, and it's the Kale Detox Deep Cleaning um, Face Wash. The next thing is this Velvet Lippy by Absolute New York, and it's in the color Wicked. Now this looks to me like it's black, however she said it's like a purple color. These are a few things that I actually picked up with my ticket from Essence, and this is a lip gloss, and this is in the color Just Gorgeous. Now it's really pretty, and I actually do like it. Another thing that is from Essence is this 07 Cute Pink Lip Liner. And that was free with my ticket as well. And this was also um, something I picked up with my ticket. And it's a red lipstick. But I believe this was in the goodie bag as well. And this is a Pure Lease Prevent Blue Lotus 4-in-1 I Adore Serum. This is what it looks like. So it came in the box. And then it has a pump. And then you just... Another thing that was in the goodie bag is this Tarte Faux Best... Oh, Tarte Best in Faux Eyelash um, Fibers. So these are the fibers in here. So I believe, oh, I'm not sure what you do. So it says, prep with mascara, extend with fibers. So first the mascara and then the fibers. So this is the mascara that comes in there. It's just a sample size of the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which is my all-time favorite mascara. 
This is the Juice Beauty uh, Stem Cellular Repair CC Cream. And actually, I think this is in my color. I would hope so anyways, because it does say it's a warm glow. So um, I am warm toned, and I'm hoping that it's my skin tone because I'd love to try it. So yeah. This is from Jouer, and this is the Kitten Liner, and it's an eyeliner, guys. I'm so excited to try this. I had swatched it earlier, but that's what it looks like, and it looks so pigmented. Next, um, with my ticket, I picked this up from Benefit, and this is the Hula Bronzer, guys. It's a full-size Hula Bronzer. Brand new. And I've never tried the Hula Bronzer before, so I'm super excited to be trying this out just because um, I've never actually like committed to buying this product but I've been wanting to try it for such a long time. Lexi with your ticket was also handing out this um, contour brush. So this is what it looks like and yeah so that's from Lexi. I believe this was in a bag, one of the bags, I'm not sure which one but it's the e Salon Perfect Ending Leave-In Conditioner and this is what it looks like. So this is from Mark Anthony and this is the Curl Envy. Um, I got this Rock Your Hair Spray It Clean Dry Shampoo and I love this stuff. I have already tried it because I actually purchased some products before I um, got this in the goodie bag on Sunday I believe and I am loving this dry shampoo as of you know this week. <laughs> so who knows I'll continue to use it and then I'll see if it's really working out for me and not making my hair feel like super heavy and stuff. But um, from Galani, uh, this lipstick, and this is like a pretty fuchsia pink color. From NYX, with that ticket, I got this Intense Butter Gloss in the color Cherry Custard. From City Color, with my ticket, I also got this lipstick. And now from Ofra, guys, with my ticket, I got the Kathleen Lights Havana Nights um, Liquid Lipstick. And I haven't tried it. I'm so excited to try it, though, because I love Kathleen, and I've never tried anything from Ofra. This is the Ofra Manhattan Liquid Lipstick, and this was in one of the bags. I tried the color Manhattan and guys, it's long lasting, it's such a nice liquid lipstick and it's not drying on your lips, it's not drying on your lips or anything so I'm like an Ofra fan now. Next from Milani with your ticket and then you had a hashtag like Milani and Gen Beauty and like take a picture and all this stuff and then you'd get like this mascara so I haven't even opened it so I don't even know which mascara this is because I guess I have never tried this. From Nude Sticks with your little ticket. Um, you got a lip and cheek pencil. Now I got two of them. So I got one in the color Purity and I got one in the color Entice or Entice. I'm not completely sure. But this is what they look like, guys. I'm wearing Purity on my lips and I absolutely love it. I love Purity. It's such a beautiful color. Let me swatch Entice for you so you guys can get an idea of a, what color it is but like I said I'm pretty dark so this may look totally different on me than it does on other people but this is it right here it's such a beautiful nude color um Galani or Galane or something like that um they were giving out this they're just handing it out when you gave them your ticket and this is um it says lip gloss but it looks like a mascara and on here it says it's a private jet, jet black for your lashes so look at this pa packaging though. This is bomb. It's like a mirror. It's so beautiful. So um, I'm not opening any of the mascaras just because I don't like for my mascaras to dry out. Um, I just feel like um, if I'm not going to use them, I just like to keep them closed. Next um, from Smashbox, I got this Smashbox X-rated mascara and they were handing these out with your ticket as well. And this is what it looks like. Look at this packaging, guys. Like, these brands are just killing it with the packaging. These are awesome. I'm so obsessed. Um, I don't think I've tried the Smashbox mascara in the past, but I'm very excited to try this out. Now, from Tarte, I was able to get two, and I only was able to get two because my friend gave me her tickets, and she left early on Sunday. So, um, Saturday, I got this color, and it's in the color Bay. So, um, it's a red. It's a beautiful red color. I still haven't tried this. 
I'm very excited to try it out though. It's a Tarte lip paint and yeah. So moving on, on Sunday I got this one in the color Yas and it's a purple. And guys, I did try this one. I didn't think I'd like it though. And actually, I actually did like it. From Ardell, I was able to get these Ardell eyelashes and I got these in the um, number 122. And then these in the Ardell Naturals. Oh, actually these ones came in the bag. So these are the Ardell Naturals in the number 105. The Double Up from Ardell and they are in the number 201. And I, um, I think I already showed these or maybe not. These are the Ardell Glamour in the number 122. And then I, I'm actually wearing the 122s right now on my eyes. So and these actually were applied um, on my eyes while I was there and you just gave them your ticket and then you picked the style lashes you wanted them to put on your eyes and then they applied them for you. This is a treatment mask. So that's what it looks like. And we is I believe a hair, a hair product brand. So that's all for hair. And then these are from Belief. I believe I got two of these in person and then I got one of them in the bag. So the, this is the True Cream Aqua Bomb. The next one is the True Cream Aqua Bomb. And then the next one is the True Cream Moisturizing Bomb. So I'm gonna look into these and I'm gonna see what they're used for and then you know we'll just go from there as far as how I use them. From NYX, um, you just, I don't know if you got in line and had a ticket or something, but they were giving out this, uh, this eyeshadow. And then um, from Pixie, I picked up this little eyeshadow duo and this is in the color Sunny Bronze. From Pacifica, I got Persian Rose and Tahinian Gardenia Perfume Roll-Ons. And guys, I don't like the way these smell, so I'm just gonna be passing these on to someone. <laughs> um, Pixie was handing out this nail polish. You got to pick from this one or like an orange one. I just picked the yellow one. This actually came in the goodie bag and this is uh, ultra rich hand creams. From um, NYX Cosmetics, if you hashtag them like um, Gen Beauty, hashtag something and put it on Twitter and Instagram and like all this stuff, you're able to get like different goodies. So I was able to pick up this uh, ombre blush in the color Code Breaker, and let me show you guys what a beautiful color this is. It's a purple like uh, fuchsia color. It's so beautiful and I actually love it. I've been using it. I've used it, I wanna say like three or four times and I really like it. Hey guys, so I'm back, my camera shut off and it was, um, it got a little bit hot or something so it turned off and I was like, let me cool down or whatever, you know, we, we're, we've all been there. So <laughs> anyways, um, let's move on. This is the NYX Ombre Blush and it's in the color Feel the Heat. As you can tell, it's darker and it gets lighter. And this is what it swatched like, so yeah. Moving on, this is another free one. Luckily, my nice friend, Megan was able to trade with me because we got like the same colors inside as we got outside the girl I asked her I was like well I already got this one and she's like well I can't switch you know because it wouldn't be fair for everyone I totally understand guys makeup forever was giving away the foundation a full-size foundation now they were color matching they were color matching everyone and they would write down your shade and then um, you would go like hashtag and take a picture and like all this stuff. It wasn't too bad though. It was going pretty fast. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a dry throat or something. But this is what my box looks like. I'm the color 3Y375. And look at how cute is this, guys. It has my name on it. It says Bracy on there. Um, and... It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. It comes with a pump. I thought it was so cool. Like, how cool is it to have a foundation that, like, has your name on it? Like, that is awesome. <laughs> I've never had something like that. Guys, I don't even own a, a Makeup Forever foundation. So the fact that my first one has my name on it, that's pretty freaking awesome, okay? And... <laughs> I guess I'm just a little bit too excited about that one. Anyways, this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. And this is just a teeny tiny sample size. But 
hey, I'm happy I get to try it, right? And they gave you this bag. So your foundation actually came inside this bag when they handed it to you and it also has your shade. And it's so cool because you get to keep it so you like don't forget it. The Belief guy handed me this little sample and this is a, a True Cream, the moisturizing balm. Also from NYX, I got, when they handed us the blush, they gave us this cute bag in the shape of lips, which I wish my lips were really big. <laughs> it said Ipsy on it. You got to pick one of the Ipsy Girl bags and they had a whole bunch of different ones. I think like four or five, maybe six of them, uh, different styles. And I picked Crispy. I love Crispy. I don't know what brand, Artist or something like that. They were giving out either a, a lipstick, a liquid lipstick, or a shirt. So I picked a shirt. Because it says Gen Beauty on there and then I thought that was super cool. It's like I could totally have a sleeping shirt. Some of the brands sell things and other brands don't sell anything. So like from some brands you're able to buy like um, a limited, you know, like some of the stuff that they bring. You, you're not going to be able to buy everything like you see at Sephora or anywhere else that they sell that brand. But they do bring like a limited amount of items to sell so I picked up a few things from Tarte. I picked up the Tarte Tartlet palette and this is the original palette. I don't own it. Um, I don't own actually any Tarte palettes or any Tarte blushes, I believe. So I figured I would pick this up. They're all matte shades and it has a huge mirror on there. And so this is what they look like. They're beautiful colors and I'm really excited to, you know, play with them. So. Um, another thing I picked up from Tarte is this foundation brush and it's so fluffy. It's so soft. I love it and I'm very excited to try this out. So moving on to Luxie, um, I picked up this Luxie flat contour brush and um, I'm very excited. I picked it up because I don't have a, br a blush, a blush, a brush that looks like this. Um, I was going to pick one up from Sigma at the iMatch show and then I talked myself out of buying that. I don't know why I always do that. I always talk myself out of buying things. Um, another thing I picked up and Essence was having, uh, they gave you this cute little bag or yeah, like box and they were having get five items for $10. So I picked up this Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I also picked up this blush, and these are full size items of theirs. I picked up this lipstick. Look at that, it's a nude color. It's so beautiful. Like I said, I am not the biggest uh, lipstick fan as I'm a bigger liquid lipstick fan, but um, I'm totally loving that. Guys, I, uh, don't know what's wrong with my fingers, but, um, this one's really pretty. This is a liquid lipstick, I think, liquid lipstick, but it's not a matte liquid lipstick. It's just a liquid lipstick, but look at how pigmented this gloss lipstick is. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful nude pink color. It's amazing. I'm excited to try it. And the last thing I picked up from them is this little eyeshadow palette. And look at these. This is the Essence All About Sunrise eyeshadow palette. And I'm not sure how pigmented these are, but I mean, they look pretty pigmented. So let's see. So yeah. All right. So that's that. And... City Color was there and they were selling this Timeless Beauty palette and it came with a gigantic mirror, guys. Look at this, look at the size of this mirror. It's pretty much the size of the palette. Like this whole front side is a mirror on the inside. Okay, these are highlighting shades up here and they're huge. They're so big and then these are blushes. So you get four blushes and four of these and they were selling it first at Gen Beauty. I don't believe this is out. Maybe it is. I'm not completely sure, but I've been trying these out because they are so beautiful and I was so excited to play with them. So I couldn't wait. I had to dig my hands in there, not my hands, you know, but my brushes to try them on and they are beautiful. The last few things I picked up were these, um, big hair rocks and this is by rock your hair this is the size matters big volume root lift and look at this look at this bottle guys look how little the sample size is and then 
look how big this bottle is. These were selling like for super cheap. They were $5 for the bottle, so I had to pick up three different ones. Um, I wish I would have picked up more, but now it's too late for that because, well, now I'm just going to have to, you know, go through these and then worry about buying more later. So, yeah, this is the big volume root lift mousse. And, yeah, I, I haven't tried it. I don't know what consistency this is. I'm assuming it's a mousse. And the girl said you put it in your roots and it's just supposed to give you lots of volume, which who doesn't love volume? I know I love volume. Why? Well, because I have flat hair. Anyways, this is the Rock Your Hair Spray It Clean Dry Shampoo. And like I said, look at the dry shampoo I got in the little one. It's so tiny. This is 1.8 ounces and this is a 7 ounce bottle. Oh, these smell so good. Mmm, they smell so good. Like I said, I wish I would have picked up more. And then also by Rock Your Hair, this is the Spray It Big Volumizing Hairspray. This stuff is good. I don't know. I tried it. Um, I have, when I pull up my hair up, when I pull my hair back and I put it up in a bun or whatever, I tend to have a lot of flyaways, guys. This stuff really kept my flyaways down. Um, I, I truly love it. I feel like it has really strong hold. In I'm so, so happy I attended Gen Beauty. I also attended iMats this year and they're completely different. iMats, you go there to buy things and Gen Beauty, you go, you know, to network and meet different brands and see what they're coming out with and, you know, meet people. They're completely different experiences, but they're so fun, both of them. I would totally do it again. I'm excited for next year. However, I do hope that, um, Gen Beauty will be at a different um, location next year. I felt like the location it was at this year was just a little bit too small for the amount of people that they had attending the event. I just feel like there was a lot of people and from what I heard from people who had been there in the past is that this year was the busiest. Now I'm not sure what the prior years looked like but they said this year was the craziest and guys those lines were out of control. They had to close the lines all the time and a lot of times like when I would go to you know Too Faced because they were giving out a full size palette I didn't get to go and like go in line because I never got lucky enough to get like in the line. I always got there and they would say like come back in 30 minutes, come back in 15 minutes. And when you go back they're just like oh it's full, it's full, it's full. So um, I don't know if anything like that would change if it was held at a bigger venue next year. But I definitely loved the experience. I think Gen Beauty is so much fun and other than the fact that it was super crowded in that place even even then it was still a lot of fun. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <music>